Good morning, good morning. I got another mom box. So I know that mostly what's in here is twine and more banners for the August 26th sale. But I don't know what else is in here, so I figured we'd go ahead and open it together. I have to ask my mom if this is her or if the post office does this. Because it seems to be frequently that I get um, a box from her that has like just a ton of stamps on it. I wonder if their post office is like using up stamps or if that's something my mom does. I don't know. All right, here we go. What's inside the mom box? So for those of you that are new and don't know, my mom lives in the Midwest. I live in the Southwest and she sends me boxes of stuff. Sometimes it's ephemera and whatnot and things she's found at garage sales or thrift stores. And sometimes it's the stuff that she makes. So, okay. <laughs> so this is a cereal box for, I make my scrappy pigs on cereal boxes. So she's just helping out with that. Oh, look at how cute is this book. She asked me if I wanted this because it was kind of um, rough. And I said, yes, I do. Because it has so much character, right? I mean, seriously. I love... You guys, I can't get enough of old books. I'm just obsessed with them. Okay. I don't see a year on this, but it's old. I know that. Dan Highland, police reporter. That's so cute. Hmm. 1937. Aww. That'll make a cute journal, yeah? Okay, these are the little spindles that she sends that she makes for wrapping her handmade twine on. And these red and white ones I'm actually going to save for my November sale. Um, because they are so cute for putting on little Christmas trees or wrapping around packages, especially packages that are like wrapped in craft paper, the brown craft paper. So freaking cute. Um, so I will be setting those aside. Um, unless somebody desperately wants one now, you can let me know and I'll set up a reserve for you. And then there's some fall twine. Look at how cute is that. Love those colors. Okay. Um, so somebody asked, what is a film canister? Because remember the, um, I'll just get one and show you. So in my ephemera kits, I've been using these which are, um, they're vintage mailers for film canisters. So you would put the film canister in here and it had a little drawstring and then you would put your address on there or their address, whatever, and the postage and send it off in the mail to get your film developed. And somebody asked me, what is a film canister? which made me laugh, but because to me, I mean, I remember film canisters, but um, so that was kind of cute. So this is a film canister um, and she filled it with buttons. Which we can always use buttons, right? Thank you, mom. Thank you for that history lesson. Um, all right, we've got We've got something wrapped in the dictionary. Uh, maybe just pages. I'm not sure. Oh, these are the lithographs that she cut out of this dictionary. She was telling me about that. So those are cool. Definitely like make good journaling cards or something, right? Very cool. All right. This 
is more of those little plastic cases that I make itty bitty ephemera kits out of. Um, she found a ton of these at a garage sale, a church garage sale, so that's what we've been using them for, and she just keeps sending them every time she needs to fill out a box. We got some cute little tea tags. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Right? Word. And we've got some ribbon doilies. Paper ribbon. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that. It's a little book. Dare to believe I love these little books with all the little sayings in them. I have a little uh, place to keep books that have a bunch of sayings in them. So this will go there after I read it. Thank you, Mom. And so we got more fall twine, which I will be uh, bundling up and getting ready for the sale, the August sale, and then, and more tea take. And then, da 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 da, the gorgeous, um, let's get rid of this, banners that she makes. These will be available in the, the August 26th sale. So, this one has like a fall vibe to it, which is cute. It's um, using all vintage reclaimed fabrics and doilies and embroidery. That's really cute. I can't wait to get that all hung up and see it all at once. It's another one. All that vintage embroidery, so much work. So she she buys um, she buys them from like secondhand stores and whatnot and repurposes them. They're you know the ones that have stains and holes and whatnot. So they're not really you know ideal for like collectors or whatever. But she can give them a second life by cutting out the good parts and putting them together on these beautiful banners. And I just think these look great in any, like, in an art space or bedrooms, like a cottage looking feel. I don't know. I'm not a interior designer, but I just think they're amazing. So, and then I will go through and add vintage photos and vintage letters in the little pockets. So you'll see those once I get them listed. Each, each banner has three pennants that have a pocket in it. So pretty cool. All right, well, that's it for that. Thank you, Mom. Awesome, thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time.